So feet hip distance apart. First of all, just take a minute to think about your posture. Feel like you're a string pulling up from the top of your head there, lengthening the spine, but of course making sure you're not arched. Neutral spine position. Lift the ribcage, open up the chest, and really try and lengthen through there. Three points of connection in the spine, so no pushing the back out, no arching that way. And then pelvic floor butter muscles breathing in through the nose, ribcage expanding. Breathe out through the mouth, draw those abdominals in, and that will help you engage your core. And if you've got the activation band, of course, it helps you engage your core again. Um, but it also helps to support your knees in the right position, um, buttocks, low back, hips, everything. So make sure you're pushing out a little bit um, against the band all the time if you're using them. This helps you to engage your core a little bit more. Okay, so starting off with our warm up. Three points of connection, shoulder blades back and down. Activate your core, draw the abdominals in. Up onto the balls of the feet, breathing in through the nose. Good. Breathe out through the mouth, abdominals in. Now hinge the hips back, don't arch the back. Lengthen there, draw the abdominals in, and then roll forwards, one vertebra at a time. Relaxing your arms, head, neck and shoulders. No tension in the upper body. Feel the backs of the legs straightening out. Then breathe in, breathe out again, slowly coming up. Good, fantastic. And again, shoulder blades back and down, neutral spine position. Up onto the toes, breathing in, breathing out. Engage the core, abdominals. Hinge the hips back, tuck the chin in, rolling forwards, one vertebra at a time. So keep the abdominals contracted. Straighten the legs just enough so you get a bit of a warm-up stretch there. And then relax the upper body. Good, breathing in. Breathe out slowly, coming up. Draw the abdominals in. Really focus on opening up the spine. And all the way back up. Excellent. So maintaining your posture, rib cage, shoulders. Remember, chin retracted as well. You want to try and get out of this position. That's why we work on our upper body posture and then the head sits back in the proper position. All right, so feet hip distance apart, making sure you've got your core muscles engaged, chin retracted, and then just relax the arms and we'll just go into our, our warm up. So breathing in, breathing out. If you can, try and remember to breathe in as we prepare for an exercise. Breathe out as we go into the main part of the exercise and that's where you draw those abdominals in. So try and concentrate on that. Don't worry if you don't get it straight away. It does come with practice. Breathing in, breathing out. Shoulders forwards, up, back and down. That's it, lifting up that rib cage. Breathing in and out. All right, and then one shoulder after the other. Try and keep the abdominal muscles engaged. Keeping your posture. Breathing in and out. Okay, so we're gonna take one hand on the shoulder and we're gonna rotate. I want you to follow the elbow over, breathing in, breathing out. So you're looking over your shoulder as you go back. Try and keep feet, knees and hips facing the front. If you find it's pulling on your back, bend your knees a little bit more, tuck your hips under, okay, and that will take the pressure off. So we're just trying to move really here from the chest, from the rib cage. All right, breathing in and out, breathing in and out. And the other one, that's it, breathing in. Looking over the shoulder, lift that chest and then follow the elbow with your eyes. That's it, breathing in and lift that chest. All right, one arm up. Remember, lead with the hand, keep the shoulder down, arm slightly behind you, breathe in, breathe out. Now stretch, draw the abdominals in. Stretch from the shoulder blade, this is stretching the spine as well. And also I want you to watch the hand, so you're taking it back a little bit. And the other side, breathing in. Breathing out, stretching up and back. Good, other side again. So reach up, as if you're reaching up towards the ceiling, and a little bit more. Spine stretching, breathing in, breathing out, abdominals in. Great, now we're going diagonally. So take the arm across, follow the hand, breathing in, breathe out, abdominals, and then up and over. Good, and back. Other side, breathing in. Breathing 
Inhale up and over. Nice and slowly. Keep the shoulder down. Stretch from the chest, from the rib cage. Breathing in, breathing out. Yeah. Good. Up and over. Last one. Good. All right. This time, both arms up. Stretching up. Look up towards your hands. Stretch. And then reach one arm up a little bit further than the other one. Stretching, lengthening, and then all the way back. Good. Breathing in, breathing out, all the way back. Opening up there, squeeze the shoulder blades together, stretch the arms. And one more time, stretching up, all the way back, opening up there. And then arms by the side of you. Remember, still keep. You want your arms slightly behind you, no arching the back, keeping your neutral spine position, core muscles engaged, chin retracted. Shrug the shoulders and relax. Good, breathing in, breathing out. Good, breathing in and out. And then one after the other, stretching. And what I'm doing here, I'm not going like this. Okay, my arm, my hand is leaving the movement and the arm is coming from my upper back. So it's a lengthen and a stretch. Core muscles, again, follow the hand. Breathing in, breathing out. Stretch and lengthen. Breathing in, breathing out. So follow the hand, reaching towards the opposite wall. Dominoes in, keeping the arm behind you. There, good, and relax. All right, back to your normal position. Core muscles engaged. And we're just going to focus on relaxing the head now, forwards and back. Breathing in, breathing out. Lengthening the back of the neck, keep the shoulders still. Remember, these are isolations. So at the moment, we're just isolating the neck and the head. Good, keep that chin back. Lift the chin slightly. Breathe in, breathe out. Abdominals in, head forwards. Chin to the chest, feel that stretch in the back of the neck. Slowly come back up. Breathing in, breathing out, head forwards. Back to the center, and we're going jaw up to the ceiling there. Now keep the shoulder down. In fact, you can take the arm behind you like this and lengthen it across. So you're getting a deeper stretch there in the neck. And the other side, breathing in, breathe out, core, abdominals, lift the chin, arm behind you, stretching. Keep that shoulder down. And again, breathing in, breathing out, abdominals. Arm behind you, stretching. And the other side, lengthen. Great, all right, keep the shoulders, feet, knees, shoulders facing the front. Turn the head to the side, breathing in, breathing out. Now lift the head up a little bit, so you're looking over your shoulder, look up to the corner of the room. Breathe in, breathe out, abdominals in, core, and then just roll that head forwards, nice and slowly. So when you turn the head to the other side, make sure this shoulder doesn't twist, mine does a little bit, but try and keep it level, that's it. Make a point of keeping that shoulder level. Look over the shoulder, looking up, keep the shoulder down. Good, breathing in, breathing out. Up and over. Good, up and over. Okay, all right, this time, Relax the ear to the shoulder, abdominals in. Add your hand in. Keep this shoulder down. That's it. And the other side, breathing in. Breathing out, up and over. Hands behind the head. Head forwards, tuck the chin in. That's stretching the upper back, back of the neck. And slowly come back up. Great, okay, so we're going to do, going to do um, our rib cage isolations. Again, working on our upper body mobilization. Feet, knees and hips facing forward as much as you can. Bend the knees slightly, tuck the hips under if you need to. Core muscles engaged. So we're going to take the arms slightly behind us, like this, and we're taking the arms here. And we're trying to get the rib cage, so the upper body, moving separately from the lower body. Don't force it, don't pull anything. Nice and relaxed, so I'm gonna give you some different options here. Once you've got this going, if you want to work a little bit harder, again, it's up to you, keep the abdominals in. We can take the hands on the shoulders, so it's a shorter lever here, 
So it's a little bit more challenging um, to get that upper body moving. That's it. And then if you want a little bit more of a challenge, take the fingertips behind the ears, take the elbows back, abdominals in. And then we can do it from that position. Okay, so you're challenging your shoulders, helps you to lift your posture a little bit as well. So we're here, side to side. So you're leading with the elbow here, stretching, stretching, rib cage, shoulder blades back and down. There, 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 chin retracted. All right, so from this position, we're gonna rotate. Again, make sure it's the chest or the rib cage that's leading the movement. And the arm follows the movement of the chest. So try not to do it like that, bringing the elbow forwards. So elbows back, shoulder blades back and down, chin retracted, breathing in, breathing out core muscles. And you're gonna move the chest, the arm follows, try not to let it move on its own. Look over the arm at the back, and back to the center, breathing in, bring up abdominals, look over the other way, keep this, the other elbow back there. Good, breathing in, breathing out, abdominals in. Stretching. There. Good, this time you're gonna do the same thing, but turn the head, turn the head towards the arm that's coming forwards. There. Breathing in, breathe out abdominals. Turn the head to the, to the arm that's coming forwards. Keep those shoulders back. Okay, okay, this time a little bit deeper. So we're opening there. And then we're gonna stretch the arms out. So as I just showed you before, a bit like that rib cage um, movement, but we're going sideways on. Open up the arms a little bit more. And I want you to really stretch with this arm and the hand and the other one and then turn the palms backwards. Okay, so you can do that rib cage isolation diagonally. So if you were doing it like this, it's like this, but we're on the diagonal. Stretch the palms back. So you may get getting a really lovely stretch in the wrist when you're doing this. All right, so bring the head towards the front, open up a little bit more. Good, and then to the back, same thing. Feel that stretch in the wrist. Good, all right, then we're gonna go on the other diagonal. This time we're going to turn the palms inwards and still stretch with the wrist. Open up the arms a little bit more, shoulder blades back and down. So we're going there, 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 there. Turn the head to the back as well. Great, and relax. Okay, so just a little bit. Um, of a, a upper body, if you like, um, movement. It's, it's called a sweeping action, like this, and it just helps to lift that chest, work on that upper body movement. So feet, knees, and hips and shoulders are still. So if you're a bit confused about this, think about doing um, like a breaststroke swimming action. It's a bit like that, but we're doing a little bit more. Lift the chest, open the shoulder blades, and reaching forwards, tuck the chin in, and then breathing in, breathing out, stretch back. So lift the chest, lift the chin a little bit, arms back there, as high as it's comfortable, abdominals in, good, and again, breathing in. Forwards, breathing out, lift, stretching. So it's a lovely stretch for your spine. Do it nice and slowly. Okay, so you're opening the chest, lifting it up, lengthening there, breathing in, breathing out. There we go, over and up. And this time we're going to hold it there, interlace the fingers. So we're just going to go into um, our upper back stretches, gentle stretch. So try not to lean forwards, just open the shoulder blades, stretch. And then you're going to reach one arm a little bit further forwards than the other one. Breathing in, breathing out, stretching, stretching. Good, interlace the fingers, turn the hands inside out. Good, stretching up, it's the same thing here, elbows level with the ears. If you can't manage that position like this, you may have to bend the elbows a little bit to achieve that, but then we've got our upper body posture. Breathing in, breathing out, abdominals in, so stretch up, lift that chest up and back, follow the hands, again, look up a little bit, stretching back, up and back, hold it there, and then you're gonna reach one arm up and the other one. Breathing in, breathing out, stretching, abdominals in. Again, try and keep the arms here level, 
the elbows level with the ears, so the stretch is in the upper back. There and there. All right, interlace the fingers, turn the fingers inside out, and then we're going up and across. Now remember, feet, knees, and hips and shoulders facing the front, keeping them still, abdominals in, core muscles, muscles engaged, push out against your activation band, breathing in, breathing out, stretching up and over. Try and make sure the stretch is coming from here and you're not pulling on your back. If you need to, okay, you can bend your knees a little bit more, tuck the hips under to make sure the stretch is coming um, from your ribcage, from your upper back, nice and slowly, breathing in, breathing out, up and over, draw the abdominals in, relaxing. Good, all right, back of the arm stretch. So take your arm back, slide the hand down, bring the elbow across, slide it back, feel that stretch in the back of the arm. And the other one. Good. Great, this is in preparation for um, our side plank that we're doing today, so don't worry, I will give you different options. Okay, so we're going to go into our inner thigh stretches, our hip flexor stretch. So here, if you want to add in your light weights, if you want to add in um, your stretchy band, you can. Actually, I will add in, I'll add in our little light weights here if you want to, or the stretchy band behind you, because when you're doing this stretch, it just helps to keep your upper body posture in place. And of course, bonus here, especially if you use light weights or something like that, we're using the back of the arm, so it's all good. All right, so feet slightly apart, breathing in, Breathing out core muscles, hinge the hips back, keep the chin retracted, and then sink back into your side lunge position. You need to have the legs wide enough so you get that stretch in the inner thigh. First of all, this is just a warm up stretch, so breathing in, breathing out. Don't let the knee go any further forwards than the end of the toe. So if you want to add some arms in here, okay, breathing in, breathing out, squeeze the hands together. So at the moment, I've got my palms turned down towards the floor. Chin retracted, shoulder blades back and down, and then we're getting a little bit more, or more core activation, and then a bit of work going on here. Breathing in, breathing out, in the back of the arms, and the shoulders actually. All right, breathing in, bring up abdominals, core, chin retracted, side to side, and then we're gonna hold it one side. Turn the feet out a little bit more, and just go into that deeper stretch. Hinge the hips back, chin retracted, there, and if you want a little bit more with the back of the arms, a little pulsing action. There, keep the, chip, the chest lifted, abdominals in. Okay, and the other side, there, pulsing. Up to you. And again, and this time, turn the feet out, sink the hips down a little bit more. And the other side. Shoulder blades back and down, working those arms. All right, come back. So we're going into our hip flexor stretch. Very, very, very important to stretch the hip flexor because our posture is so um, different these days. We need to really lengthen through there. And this muscle goes all the way through your abdominals and your inserts into your spine as well. So it's very, very good for healthy backs. So you can use your stretchy bands here. You can use your weights. Um, or if you want just a little bit more focus, you can use the ball here. So I'll do it with the ball today. So from here, we're just turning to the side. So we're going into a bit like a forward lunge position. Okay, now you can make it a very tiny lunge. This is, this is for your, your hip flexor, it's this muscle here. Tip the pelvis under and activate that. If you're not feeling much or it's uncomfortable, uh, fine, keep, if it's uncomfortable, keep small. Otherwise we can take it a little bit further back, a bit lower, as long as your hips don't go lower than your knees. Tip the pelvis under, Okay, so we're getting that stretch there in your hip flexor. Okay, both arms up, elbows level with the ears, now really stretch up through the chest, through the spine, breathing in, breathing out. Tip the pelvis under, draw the abdominals in, and stretch over to the side. Try and keep those elbows back level with the ears. And the other side, up and over, tip the pelvis under. Back to the center, this time stretching up and back slightly. Lift the chest up and back. You can look up towards your, your hands as well. This one. 
Look up towards the hands, lifting the chest, shoulder blades back and down. Good, and then we're going to go to the other side. Okay, tip the pelvis under, back nice and straight. Elbows level with the ears, breathing in, breathing up abdominals. Tip the pelvis under, stretching up. Good. Lift up through the spine, up and over to the side. And the other side, breathing in, breathing out, up and over. Tip the pelvis under, draw those abdominals in as you stretch up and back. And back to the center, stretching up. Lift the chest up and back slightly. So looking up towards the hands. Obviously don't, don't throw the head back. Just really think about that stretch there. Brilliant. Okay, got you brought out for a minute. We're just gonna go into our basic front of the thigh stretch. So hold your foot. Ankle or trouser leg, knees level, breathing in, breathing out, tip the pelvis under, heel in towards the hip. Okay, if you can balance, take the hand off the wall, keep your core muscles engaged, keep your posture. Hold your ear if you need to help you balance, or hold the foot with both hands. Breathing in, breathing out, tip the pelvis under. Good, nice stretch then. Okay. And the other one. Breathing in, breathing out, tip the pelvis under. Hand on the ear or hand on your foot. Okay, standing nice and straight, breathing in, breathing out, tip the pelvis under. Great. All right, fantastic. 